Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I'm packing for BMT. For starters, I am packing it all in this humongous bag. It's a Marmont bag and I got it for a pretty good deal actually at Dick's Sporting Goods, but any black backpack will do. A moleskin journal that I am going to like write letters in. This is um, envelopes to send my letters. This is a notebook for classes and this is an address book. Obviously that is deodorant, and here is my toothbrush, and that is a ton of highlighters and pens. Next, I have like an entire row of like socks. Then we have shower shoes. I brought earplugs, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to have that, but you know what? I'd rather get away with having that and then, you know, be able to use it than not bring it and then find out I could use it and be very sad that I have to deal with people being with me when I'm trying to sleep. So I got some floss, like really, really, really cheap floss for like 60 cents or something like that. Um, some razor heads and a razor. This is basically a hair kit. It has a donut to do my hair with and a bunch of hair bands. And the green thing has a bunch of bobby pins and the pink like envelopes. That is hair nets. Then we have a brush and lint rollers. And then, let's see, down this row, we have bras that are like legitimate bras. Over there, I have sports bras. Next, I have rolled up a bunch of like spandex, I think that's what they're called. They're like, yeah, I think they're spandex. But it's a thing that you wear under your PT gear so that you're not like flashing everybody. And I just got it in gray. Um, you'll notice that I don't have a lot of fun colors in here because I've been told that if you have any colors that stand out too much that you will pretty much get yelled at or they won't be happy with you. So that's why I have really, really plain gray t-shirts. Those are more like sports bras, by the way, the rolled up ones. They're just awesome because you can roll them up really tight. I brought two pairs of jeans. I brought a bunch of underwear. And that is a thing to keep my papers in. It's like a really nice folder. The cool thing about it is that it's not easy to bend. So if my papers are in there, it's going to be super duper protected. These are my Nike run shoes um, up here. Okay, so I have tampons. And then in this, it's my makeup bag. I brought very, very, very limited makeup. I put it in a super plain black bag so that they couldn't even yell at me for having a really adorable makeup case, whatever. So first thing I have in here, this is a Too Faced Glamour to Go like mini kit. It has a mirror in it and like some eyeshadow colors, which is pretty basic colors, honestly. And then inside there is like a little like, lip color. But I, I honestly, I think I've used that like once in my entire life, but I brought this for the bronzer and blush. Because, you know, gotta work with that contour. So basically, I'm using this as a blush brush. And then this as a contour brush. In there, I have my foundation. But I didn't put it in my makeup bag because, you know, TSA. And make sure that you put all your liquids in the liquid container. Except I'm pretty sure you can get away with this as mascara. Pretty sure you can get away with keeping your mascara in there, but if not, I'm pretty sure I can make this fit over there. Maybe. I might do that just in case. Um, I have baby lips, moisturizer, like lip balm thing, and it has SPF in it. If it will focus. There you go, SPF 20. There it is, SPF 20, which is pretty lit. Um, then I have a little eyeliner. It's kind of a cheap one, I'm pretty sure. Um, because you can't really bring anything that's all that expensive because people steal and also you might get made fun of for having expensive makeup. Um, also this is a eyeliner pencil sharpener and I have like a lip thingy. It's like lip stain which is pretty good. Good color and it's pretty basic. Um, this is to apply eyeshadow with. I would put it in that little thing but it, it doesn't fit. Um, then we have another lip balm in case they make me throw away the baby lips one, which I will be so sad if they don't do that because that's the good one. 
Then I have a lip gloss, which who knows if they'll let me use this or not. This is probably the most expensive thing I have in this entire makeup kit. And I'm pretty sure that's the whole thing. Yes, it is. Okay. Then I have this like black nail kit. It actually did not come in that thing. It actually came in a really, really, really cute nail kit, but I did not want to get yelled at again. So I just found a little black thing that would fit all of this in it. And it comes with basic nail kit stuff. And I also found two things of tweezers. So I got this tweezer, little baby one, in case they make me throw away this big one. Uh, but basically, I don't even know why they want us to have a nail kit, but I just got one in case, you know, they get mad if we don't have one. I have one, and I actually have extra stuff. Like, that's like a regular emery board, and then this is a metal emery board. So if somebody seriously didn't bring anything and they get yelled at, then maybe I can, like, share it and then, you know, save their butts. Last but certainly not least is the TSA-approved liquid bag. The reason it has to be TSA approved is because if you're like me, you are not living in the state of Texas currently. So you have to take a flight to get to Texas and they require that you have TSA approved liquids. So you have to get a quart size bag and make sure that all of your liquids are below 3.3 fluid ounces. So if you guys were wondering what those requirements were, there you go. So first I packed this like Colgate Optic White toothpaste and it's like actually pretty big compared to most like most travel size toothpaste are like that big and it's so sad because it it lasts like one day and this is still tsa approved it's only 1.7 ounces and i feel like you could probably pack an entire thing of toothpaste considering the size of this but there's no way it would fit in there so whatever this is a moisturizer to go with the face wash that i bought they probably will work good together. I would have bought the other Cetaphil face wash, but I wanted something to like get all the grime off from each day because, you know, it's going to be hot and sweaty most days and I feel like I'm going to need a more intense cleanser. So I'm using that. And this is Pantene shampoo and a Pantene conditioner. I actually use that exact product on a daily basis now so it's really awesome that I found a trial size or not trial size travel size of that exact product then I'm bringing this crest pro health mouthwash and this bath and body works hand sanitizer it smells super good like citrus smell will totally wake you up when you're feeling tired as fuck this is the foundation I was telling you guys about and I have sunscreen, which I don't even know if we're allowed to bring this, but you know what? Just in case, I feel like we might need it because we are going to be outside in the sun with basically our face is going to be out. So I feel like my face will be bright red if I don't use this. I don't even know. Anyway, the last product in here is body wash. And that's everything. There were other products that I wanted to bring, but I couldn't fit them. Um, so I kind of just bought what was absolutely necessary and if I need to buy anything else I can buy it at the VX whenever we go to the VX or whatever it is commissary you know whatever the insert proper word okay guys well that is my entire what I'm packing video let me know if I missed anything or if this video helped you out bye guys oh I almost forgot don't forget to watch you will need it I promise. <laughs> um, get a watch that can switch to military time. I actually have to do that still. Um, and make sure it's waterproof because you may or may not even have time to take it off before you take a shower. So, you know, get a watch that is waterproof, can switch to military time, and one that has a timer on it because I'm pretty sure that you want one of those. All right, guys, that's it. Bye.